right, hi everybody. Today we've got a special workout called Super 36 because it is Nate's 36th birthday. That's right. If you get a chance to, make sure that you tell him happy birthday. But in honor of that workout, we're going to be doing 10 different movements, 36 reps of each. So before we get into that, let's start with a warm-up. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with some shoulder hugs. Let's go out wide, hug around. A little different than our uh, usual Spider-Man, blah, blah, blah. Let's go up and then down. Send the hips back and then reach up tall. Starting to get some hinge in the hips. A little bit of stretch in the hamstrings. And then let's go ahead and reach behind the back. So go ahead and bend the elbow, reach behind the back. Let's get some arm twists. So let's go palm down, palm facing up, and then let's twist each arm all the way around so that the palm rotates 360. Do that a few times. Let's get some shoulder circles. Let's go forward for about 10. And let's go backwards for about 10. Nice, let's get some hip circles. Big wide, send those hips back, push them to the side, going forward. Four or five in each direction. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. And then for knees, hands on the knees, and let's go in and out a few times each direction. In and out. And then change directions, out and in. And then quickly, let's get some little ankle circles. Point the toes, twirl the ankle around, and the other side. All right, let's go wide with the stance, and we're gonna take opposite hand, reach towards the ankle, reach the opposite arm up to the ceiling, and then switch. Send the hips back, feel a good stretch through the inner thighs. Let's turn that into some Cossack squats. So same thing, wide legs, feet pointed outwards, lunge into one leg, keeping the weight through the heels, lunge into the other leg. Nice little inner thigh stretch there. Let's go ahead and do some inchworm. So we're gonna fold, walk the hands out to our plank position. We'll do a push up and then walk the hands back and stand full mountain pose between each one. Let's get about five or six of these in. For those of you who did that dumbbell workout with me yesterday, I tell you my hamstrings, my quads, inner thighs, they are definitely very sore. So this will be a nice, actually this was two days ago. <laughs> All right, let's finish one more inchworm. And then we'll move into some Samson lunges real quick. So let's step forward. We'll bring that back knee down, reach up extra tall, and then let's do a twist, chest towards the knee that's in front, and then we'll step back, other side. Samson lunge, reach tall, twist towards the leading leg, and then step back. Let's get a couple more on each side, just one to two seconds. some twisting T-planks just to start warming up our core a little bit. 
So come down to a plank position and then we're going to twist up to one side. You can stagger the feet, you can stack your feet. Just pausing for a second or two on each side just to find your stability. Keep your hips in line with your shoulders and your feet so that they're not too high or they're not sinking down too much. All right, lastly, let's do a few Spider-Mans. We do have mountain climbers and grasshoppers. So while you're down here, let's go ahead and bring that leg forward. Press your palms nice and firm. And go ahead and switch every one to two seconds. We'll keep it pretty active right now. Okay, for our first mobility piece, actually, let's stay in Spider-Man real quick. And we're just gonna spend about 30 seconds here um, doing something a little bit more active with our upper back. So if you're in Spider-Man, what I would like you to do is um, keep your outside hand, so not the one closest to your knee, but the one outside firmly planted. And so then the one that's closest to your leg, you're gonna turn, you're gonna reach up, Look to the ceiling, really open that back, open that hand up as far as you can. And then after a count of three, you're gonna reach through underneath, thread the needle, try to uh, stick your hand through as far as you can, and then we'll reach back up. So let's get about five of these and hold each one at the top and through the bottom for at least a count of two or three. Just getting some good stretch in either direction, so really opening up the upper back here in the chest and then feeling a good reverse twist underneath. So go ahead and keep at that for just one or two more. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So again, the uh, outer hand is planted on the floor. We're gonna take the inner hand, turn face the chest towards the leg reach that hand push that hand as far back as you can and then we're going to thread the needle look through hand facing upwards getting a feeling a good stretch of the outside of the upper back and again let's do that about four or five times pausing for about one to two seconds at the top and the bottom of each one Last one here. I'm gonna go underneath for just a couple more seconds. Awesome. All right, for our last stretch, uh, we're gonna do a uh, slightly modified child's pose. What we're gonna do actually is on the floor, you're gonna place your hands in a diamond shape and you're gonna place your forearms on the floor. And then from there, you're going to keep your forearms down and then you're gonna send your hips back and try to push your head through the window. And hopefully if you do this, you're gonna feel a nice stretch underneath your armpits and the sides of your lats. So go ahead and do that diamond shape on the floor, forearms down, and then go ahead and send your hips back. Keep those elbows locked in place, don't let them drag back. So this is a little bit more active of a child's pose through the upper back and shoulders. It's definitely more shoulder focused than it is hip focused. So we'll go ahead and just hold that here. Sink those hips all the way back as far as you can. Lock those hands in place. Keep breathing through. Push your forearms down into the floor. Awesome, go ahead and stand. Okay, so, um, or you don't have to stand actually. <laughs> so uh, that's gonna conclude our warm up and mobility portion. And in the next video, I'm going to go over each of the reps that we're going to do. And then the third video will actually do the workout. So I'll see you there.